You are watching With a Cup of Tea, a production of This House of Books, an independent bookstore cooperative and tea shop in downtown Billings. Now, here's our show. You have a new book out, World War I Montana, The Treasure State Prepares. So, um, why don't we start, just tell me a little bit about yourself. How did you come to write this book? Well, I'm a longtime Montanan who's spent a lot of time outside Montana because I was off in the Naval Intelligence in the Navy for 30 years mm -hmm. and uh, managed to return to uh, do, to have control of my time. And I've always loved history. I've always uh, thought about uh, writing books. And so I've been very busy the last uh, 12 years or so. And I did a trio on Montana and the Civil War. And when the centennial of this World War I rolled around, I decided to uh, tackle that and uh, present to Montanans the first book on Montana and World War I. They're really, it's a pretty neglected war. Yes. And consequently, uh, it's uh, leading to this one, which is the Treasure State Prepares, and the next one uh, is gonna be a year from now, which will be um, when we finally build up an army and get over and start fighting. Okay, so this will be in two volumes. It'll be this essentially be in two volumes, right? Okay, wonderful. So, um, is there anything else you'd like to tell us about this book? Well, sure. Um, World War I was uh, short, but, I mean, it lasted five years for uh, the British, French, Germans, and other countries, the U.S. only, uh, about a year and a half, but it was... Uh, it was a time of immense change in so many ways, and it affected uh, Montanans in uh, really amazing ways. And that's why I think it's important to, to bring out a book to highlight. If you just take the way women were participating in this war, either on the home front or in jobs at the rail repair yards because the men were off at war and those jobs needed uh, hundreds of women from Montana for the first time, or nurses, and some of them went overseas, some of them had great stories. Some of the uh, services like the Navy opened up new positions like their administrative position to women for the first time. And of course, all of the entertainers, uh, the government didn't run a USO, so the YWCA organized a a women's uh, entertainment group to go overseas and that included some Montana women and what I've had a lot of fun doing is first of all finding the participants from Montana in all of these events whether it's been on the home front in the local communities or in Washington DC or overseas it's been exciting to find the Montanans and then to hear their stories find their stories and present them in here because a lot of the words in here are from the participants, those people that were doing these new things for the first time. So you were able to actually find people who participated in the war and interview them. Well, I couldn't interview well, them. They well, were around, but or at least find the next best thing. I found their diaries, their or I found their letters. Okay. letters they'd written home. Okay. Um, and and there's a wealth of information if you really dig. And it can relate to every battle or every aspect of the war. Uh, as I say, whether it's in Montana, in a local community where they're organizing uh, auxiliaries in every local community to put, uh, to, to knit uh, sweaters and get material ready to go over mm -hmm. to the troops. Uh, it, it was a massive effort for a year and a half. They, they went from an army of a total of 300,000 to uh, 4 million men under arms, and that took a lot of women being swept up into the whole thing as well. So tell me, who do you think would be interested in buying this book, reading it? Well, if you really want to know about, about Montana and what the experience has been in something like World War I, I think you'd, you'd gain a lot. But I think also there are so many Montanans that have grandfathers or maybe grandmothers or great-grandmothers that were the people in here that were mm -hmm. participating. And this is the first book 
on Montanans in World War I. There have been little aspects of it, but I'm putting the whole war together. So I think, uh, I think about anybody who's uh, inclined to hear about, uh, about the past uh, through stories, because I, I tell it through their words by and large, but through stories and not, it's not an academic history. It's even though it's footnoted and, mm -hmm. and the things like that. So the sources are attributed, but, uh, but it's largely the words of the participants. And, and, and that, to me, makes a pretty powerful combination. Well, thanks so much. Thanks, Mark. This has been a production of This House of Books. If you'd like to be a part of the cooperative, please visit thishouseofbooks.com slash get involved.